this video we're going to add a new item. All right, same as with customers, there's a lot of places where you can add new inventory items here. I want to add item inventory under your items list. I'm going to go into the items list here. Okay, so you have your I want to and you can add new items, print tags, all that fun stuff. Okay, and I'm just going to click on add new item. So the item name I'm going to enter here. So I'm going to enter a book on point of sale. Okay. What type of inventory is it? Is it inventory item, non-inventory service, assembly, or a group? Okay, so I'm going to say it's an inventory item for now. Uh, which department does it fall into? We're going to say it falls into supplies. All right, what's the description? POS book. Is there a certain size or attribute? You can add sizes or attributes or styles. Um, now, if you want to add a style, what that basically does is allows you to add. So if you had small, medium, large, red, blue, green, it would allow you to mass add those items if you use a style grid. Okay, uh, we have our pricing here. So regular price, I'm going to set up as $15. Average unit cost is going to be $5 per, and I have 100 on hand. Now when I mark that, it is going to make an inventory adjustment for me of $500 because they're $5 average, I'm saying, and 100 on hand. Okay, on here, I'm going to go ahead and click on pricing. So as I mentioned in another video, you can set custom prices per item. Okay, so you can say regular price is $15, sale price is marked down 10, employee discount is 25% on this, wholesale is 20%, and then if you have a custom price, you can do that here. Okay, um, if you have an MSRP price that you want to put in here, so is, is uh, $19.99, uh, what the average cost is, it's going to pull that up, what your margin you want it to be, and what the markup is. Okay, I'm going to go back in and edit this some more. So you can decide if it's a taxable or non-taxable item. If you do print barcode labels, you can put in your UPC code number. If it is part of a quick pick group, you want to go ahead and add that here. So I'm going to add it to a miscellaneous quick pick group. The reason you want to add, I mean, you do have lots of choices for quick pick groups, but the reason you might want to add something to a quick pick group is if you can't put a barcode on it, if it's a service, then it's not something you can really scan in necessarily. Uh, if it's really small, like pencils or pieces of jewelry, and you don't have jewelry tags, uh, so you can put it to the quick pick group there. So it's easy to choose this item on a sale. Down here, it is going to show you the history on the item. So you have a change. Today we did adjustment because we added those 100, and it also has a cost adjustment there because like, we added them 100 at $5 each. So it keeps your history there, keep your history of all your sales. Up here, you can choose uh, what your who your standard vendor is, and then if you want to choose an alternate vendor, you can have alternate vendors and track multiple UCC, UPC codes UPC codes there. What that does is it allows you to scan in multiple UPC codes and still pull up the same item. Okay. <clears throat> Going back here, what our order cost is, so I'm going to put in $5 because that's my average. What's my reorder point? 25. What's my item number? We'll say 250. Do I have an alternate lookup? So if, do I want to be able to search for this? So I want to be able to search by book on point of sale, maybe POS 10, something like that. You can have an alternate lookup as well. If you have multiple units of measure, you can set those up here or choose those here on a book. I don't have multiple units of measure necessarily. The manufacturer's part number, any comments over here if you print tags for this. In QuickBooks Financial, a lot of people are used to having things be inactive. You can't really make things inactive in QuickBooks Point of Sale, so uh, you make it unorderable at that point. If you do serial number tracking, you want to check that off here. That's on the individual item basis. Also, if this is eligible for commissions and eligible for rewards. And then if you're connecting into your um, into a shipping manager, you can also put in the weight, height, length, width, so that you can easily calculate that. Finally, we have our statistics right in the middle here. So as you use this item, sell this item, purchase, all that fun stuff, it's going to give it um, a trend and a rating. Also, it tells you quantity in, quantity out, sales, profit margin, etc. 
So I'm going to go ahead and save that there. And uh, that's how you enter a new item in QuickBooks Point of Sale.